Do you want a simple way to create, submit, and review employees' tasks and project updates for non-computer savvy users? You and your team have not been properly trained on the To-Do app or Planner yet. Or it could be that these powerful tools is more than what you need. And you have found that capturing an update in Excel spreadsheet is cumbersome. Then I have a Teams app just for you. The Update Request. In this video, I will tell you what the Update Request app is and the benefits of using this app. Let's get started. So before I get started with the demo, let me talk about some of the key components about the updates request feature within Teams. It is a great way to keep track of the progress of tasks or projects via a form. I will reference this Teams update app as progress updates or updates requests because I personally find it a bit confusing by just saying updates just because I don't want you to think that I'm talking about updating the application itself because Microsoft or your IT department would take care of that. So essentially the updates request is most helpful for managers with a team of any size, the manager or the organizer can easily create a form via a template that you can modify, you can request information of your choice, assign users and the privacy level and the due date, and then you're done. The team members or frontline workers will receive an automatic message via Teams chat or channel as a reminder to complete the form before it is due. And then the best part about this feature is the manager does not have to send an email requesting the updates. Microsoft Teams updates feature will do it for you. Then once all that's been done and set up, the manager can review the updates from a dashboard, address any issues or make any comments, and then go on about his day. It is important to know, because you know I like to share the limitations with you, that the updates request does not support backups. And that's because it is stored in the default Microsoft Dataverse environment. I will add the link in the description so you have you know, access to learn more about backup and restoring the environments. You may have to get your IT um, administrator involved. I am in Teams under Adele's account. She is the manager. And let me show you how to add the updates in the left navigation. Click on the more apps and just scroll through here and look for the app and then just click on it. Once you click on it, I recommend that you right click and then pin it to your left navigation so it is always there. So we are on the dashboard of updates. So let me share what you have here. Once a form is actually created and the um, submitters, your team actually start to provide you the updates, you have easy access to get to this report. Just click on the report, review it. You have the ability to just give it a thumbs up or if you wanna make comments down at the bottom, you can. There's another way you can get to it. From the activity feed, notice that it's here as well and I can just click on it and review the information. So let's go back to the dashboard. How do I create one of these forms? You have the abilities to just do a quick update. Under the quick update available at any time, you can update the title if you want to. Who do you want to um, receive this request? And you just enter in their name, their email address. They now have the ability just to fill out this information. Let's go back to the home page. Let's take a look under collect updates. Notice you can have use a template for weekly, daily. There is an incident report. You have a one-on-one -on -one prep. 
as well as a shift handoff. This shift handoff would be really great for retail or even in the medical industry as well. Or you can start from scratch. I'm going to actually open up an existing form so you can see how to create it. I'm going to go under manage requests, click on my report because I'm the leader. I created this already. And again, click on the pencil. I have my questions here. This is including the rich text. Here's additional questions. Notice that I have a single line as well as multiple choice. If I add a question, again, we'll give it a demo. Click on the drop down. We choose rich, multiple choice, drop down, date, and a few others. You can mark it as required as well as move up or down. You can actually copy this question to reuse it or delete it altogether. So it's that simple to add your questions to this form. Now, what is really important is this part right here, customize your settings. Who needs to submit this request? You can say spe um, specify people in your organization or people in your organization with the link. So you can have it to ta your targeted audience or just open it up broadly. Again, you're gonna just click here and add their names. Who can view? This is what's important. You may decide that you want your whole team to, you know, in order to be transparent, have um, access to everybody's updates, or you can leave it to where you are the only one can see the updates. You're going to set the due date and if it's going to be reoccurring. If you click here, available anytime, one time, every day of the week. Let's say we're going to do this weekly. Let's click on weekly. Notice that you can specify how you know, often you want to have your meetings. Is it once a week or every six weeks? You can choose the date frame for your meetings and what time. What I really wanted to show you is that you can specify will remind submitters up to 23 hours before it is due. So you come here and just choose. You want to give them a reminder four hours before that it is due. Really nice. Let's go ahead and hit save. I also wanted to show you that you can also just click on the customize and it take you to the same place. Editing updates allowed. So after the submission, are you gonna allow them to update the form afterwards? And then request status is active. If you, let's say you wanna run this for six weeks cause you're working on a, on a project and after the project ends, you can make this particular request inactive and then you can provide a description. Once you fill that out, you just hit publish. So in a matter of 10 minutes that you can have this form ready to go. So let's go back to the dashboard. So let's take a look at how this will look for Nestor. So I am in as Nestor and notice, I get that update. You have an update due soon. Project progress weekly report. So you get a notice. Also, you will see here that um, he didn't complete the one in on April the 11th or the 18th. And this is ongoing. So um, it will let you know what has been overdue. He clicks on the date, fill out the form. If there's any attachments, he can include the attachments from OneDrive or from his computer. He can also insert a link and then hit submit. He's done.